And it's the first of its kind in the country. Cleveland now has a public school that's LGBTQ focused. News 5's Caroline Sweeney has more on this original classroom in this News 5 original. Roman Sardo Longo's favorite subject isn't one you hear a lot. Growing up, I've always really liked math. I've always excelled in math. The 16-year-old says it's easy for him. And so I liked it because it made me feel smart. And I feel like if everyone else felt smart in math, they would like it too. The high school junior takes his math course with a handful of other kids in a school for LGBTQ students. It blows my mind. I, I didn't honestly think it was going to be this easy. That easy thing? Starting the new school in partnership with the LGBT Community Center, the first of its kind in the country. They didn't feel like their story was being heard. And so I felt that it was really important to open up a school that just allow our students to be normal. Battle and is a queer woman leading the charge at CMSD for more inclusive learning opportunities for a program called the School of One, school programs that focus on individual students' needs with personalized lessons online. I can be seen, my voice is being heard, and I'm not I'm not uncomfortable in who I am. And it's really easy to just get caught up in all the mean things people say to you or the weird stares they give you at school. Um, but here it's like nobody, like everyone knows what you're going through. Everyone knows, everyone's been there. That was the aim of this newest class structure. Students do not have to identify as LGBTQ to enroll in this school of one. But you just have to respect the culture and the environment. Because of the pandemic, the School of One students, like the rest of CMSD students, are taking classes online, except there are morning sessions or afternoon sessions, and students can learn at their own pace. You know, when you're surrounded by people who are also LGBT, like, it just feels like normal. Funding for all of the School of One programs comes from the district's general fund, and Battle says the biggest roadblock was the pandemic. There was no pushback, not from the board, not from Mr. Eric Gordon, not from my principal. I literally walked up to my principal one day and said, I would like to open up a School of One at the LGBT Center, and he was like, okay. Soon, the school will start an LGBTQ history course for students. I'm really excited because I feel like a lot of, um, even LGBT, like you don't really know our history that well. I mean, I won't claim that I know it super well. Leaders at the School of One hope that once the pandemic is over or there's hybrid learning offered at CMSD, they'll be able to move some students here to the LGBT Community Center. But it's very comforting that like Cleveland can be a place where uh, we can feel safe and um, it feels really nice. In Cleveland, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.